Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is Thursday, February 25th, 2021. Let's talk boxing, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now you have some big fights coming up, right? Um, the Junior Fa. Joseph Parker fight, for example, is coming up. Parker's a 10 to 1 favorite in some casinos. Look, by far, by far, the best bet this weekend isn't that glamour fight. It's Anthony Durrell over Kyron Davis. Understand, this fight shouldn't even be made. Durrell is a former champion at 168 pounds. Let me repeat that. He's a former champion at 168 pounds. He's bigger. He's 6'2". Davis is only 5'10". Durrell has a sizable reach advantage. BoxingScene.com is reporting it as a 4-inch reach advantage. Kyron Davis has not only not beaten any of the top super middleweights. In other words, at 168, this guy lacks experience. But understand, he only has six KOs. Only six KOs. Right? He has fewer professional fights than Anthony Durrell has stoppages. And his last four fights were against Antonio Todd, a guy who's seven and two, right? Had nine fights going into his fight against Chiron. Alexis Gayton, who was six and three, again, only had nine fights going into his fight against Chiron Davis. Patrick Day, who was 14, two and one. Understand, Davis lost that fight. And Jaime Barbosa, 19 and 12, 12 losses. Somehow that gets him a fight against Anthony Durrell. Folks, this isn't a tune up, this is a massacre. Let's look at Durrell's background. Think of the big names. Right? Durrell, of course, has already fought. Saki Obika. Think about this. In fact, let's make it easy. Caleb Plant's last title defense was against Caleb Truax. Durrell has already fought him. Canelo's upcoming title defense is against Avni Yildurum. Durrell has already fought him. Durrell's last fight was against the unbeaten David Benavides. By the way, Durrell, for his career, only has two losses. One of them was to Benavides. So you're talking about a guy who's tested. He even fought Badu Jack. He's tested. He's fought big names at 168. He's been a champion at 168 in the past. And you mean to tell me they have him in against a guy who has never fought at 168 pounds? Let me repeat that. Never fought at 168 pounds. And who last four fights weren't against big name talents, right? Every one of the guys who Kyron Davis fought the last four fights had at least two losses. One had three losses, one had 12 losses. Folks, this is an outrage. In my favorites folder here, I have a film of one of Chiron's matches. You're gonna see that not only is he undersized for 168 pounds, right? And by the way, the match is not at 168. Understand, this guy's been fighting as a middleweight. But he's lingering around the pocket. He's getting hit with big shots by an opponent who is not 
the former champion at super middleweight. Well, what makes this fight particularly fascinating is that if I were to bet on the Joseph Parker fight, they want me to pay a minus 1,000. In other words, I have to bet 10 bucks to win $1 on Joseph Parker. Right? Those are the odds. And Parker is fighting a guy with a pulse. Junior Fa is actually a world-class contender. Junior Fa is unbeaten. Now, let's be intelligent about this. Would it shock you to know that I can get Andre Durrell, excuse me, Anthony Durrell, his brother, I can get Anthony Durrell, who, quite frankly, has had a spectacular career. Again, he's the former champ at 168. He's beaten Avni Yildirim, for example. I can get him here against a guy who doesn't even belong in the weight class. And somehow this fight is going off at a minus 375. Think about that. I'm getting substantially better odds than I would be getting taking Joseph Parker. And understand, Parker's fighting a world-class opponent. Who the two guys have actually been in the ring in the past? Look up their histories. Here I get Anthony Durrell against a guy who has never fought at 168 and whose last two fights were against guys with less than 10 pro fights. A guy who didn't have power at middleweight who's now gaining eight pounds to fight a guy with prodigious power. Forgive me, I'm, I'm wondering what I'm missing here. If I'm missing something, if Anthony Durrell fell down a flight of stairs, right? If Anthony Durrell was in the hospital last week and has just been released from the hospital and insists on going forward with this fight, If you were on the curb and you saw him in a major car accident in the last 10 days, if you have any kind of inside information that would justify this line, please leave it in the comment section of this video. This, quite frankly, is the bet of the week. I, I'm wondering how Kyron Davis is going to go the distance. But I'm not even going to play around with the KO prop. I don't need to. Because the casino is being generous in giving me a minus 375. Right? By contrast, Canelo, in his fight against Avniel Dura, right? A guy who's fought Durrell, a guy who's fought Chris Eubank, right? A real world class contender. Understand, the Canelo side of the play is like 50 to 1. The odds are completely ridiculous. You mean to tell me here I'm getting a 3.75 to 1 on Anthony Durrell and he's not even fighting a guy with any experience at super middleweight? You got to be kidding me. This to me is free money. Right? As I've always said here online, the best bets make themselves. Right? The minute you hear that Kyron Davis is going to fight a guy who, not that long ago, was the super middleweight champion at super middle, where Davis has no experience. And of course, Davis enters the ring with no power. Six KOs at middleweight and lower. Folks, you don't have to twist my arm, right? If I thought there was a fight that deserved the 50 to 1 odds that Canelo's getting for his fight, it would be this one. And here, it's a minus 375. I'll be the casino's Huckleberry. Maybe there's information I don't know. Unless Durrell enters the ring with 
you know, a torn ACL, a broken arm or something. This not only looks like a easy win, this looks like a stoppage. I like Durrell here simply to win. Minus 375, hey, that's good enough for me. I believe if you had one bet to make this weekend, this is the fight. I like Durrell over Kyron Davis. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Look, I know Durrell lost his last fight. Folks, let's be real here. That was to another former champion, David Benavides, who's unbeaten. Give me a break if that's the reason why you're getting such good odds on Durrell. You're getting a deal. That's how I see it. I look forward to your comments. I hope everyone has a great weekend, a winning weekend. Thanks for stopping by.